Hey guys, welcome back to some brand new Ultimate Arc, and today we've got some major plans. We're breeding up the Argies here. So I'm gonna put you onto Wander as well. Oh, you are on Wander. Okay, yeah, just one of them can breed. So in the last episode, we tamed up an RG. It's this one right here in the center. This one here has the good health. And then we tamed up a couple more. We've actually found so many RGs. I even tamed up like two of them and then had to ditch them because they had terrible stats. Uh, I need food. I need food. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just cook some up really quick. I'm completely out again. So, um, yeah, let me... Do I have any wood in here? There we go. I'll just borrow this for now. So yeah, we uh, we had to tame up just a bunch of RGs, and um, we have some okay-ish ones. They, they don't have amazing stats, but they're definitely going to work for now. So the stats that we're looking at between all three of these are uh, 3,500 health, and that's from the center one there. Um, the stamina, we've got uh, 1,340, which is not too bad, but it's not great at the same time. I've gotten way better RGs than that before. Uh, the weight we have is 720, which is not bad, and then the melee is actually kind of high, which is 401, which is pretty decent, actually, but we don't really need melee on an RG, so it's not it's not a really big deal. Uh, let's go ahead and eat that. Sweet. Anyway, um, we've also got a saber over here in the taming pen, and actually, it's probably ready to be fed now. Let's go ahead and just grab some of this. Uh, we have a bunch of mutton because I found a sheep, and I went ahead and just killed it and immediately threw the mutton straight into my fridge. And I've been using that to tame the Argies, and we're going to use that right now to tame the Saber. So hopefully he's already starved out enough. I mean, it seemed like he might be. Oh yeah, he's definitely going to tame up. So this is a male, which is great, because we have two females, and they were both max levels. We tamed them several episodes ago. Sweet, we got you. Uh, I'm going to have to open up the taming pan for a second, because I don't have a saddle on me. And you need to get out of here. Come here, buddy. Are you stuck? What's happening? <laughs> Come on, get out of there. Come on. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's borked. Let's go ahead and pull away the foundation as well. Are you good? You're good. All right, good. Uh, RG over there is wanting to be tamed. It's a terrible level, don't worry. Um, so yeah, our RG trap is working out really well in the position that we have it in. I pretty much just dragged the RG straight out of the snow area and, uh, straight into the pen and then tame them up. If they're terrible, I've been killing them. I think I've killed like two or three of them so far uh, that just had the worst stats. Let me see, how is your... Okay, uh, not the worst. I mean, I think the weight, is that better than one of the other ones? I don't know, for some reason the stats seem like way lower than usual, but I am playing with like difficulty, like what is it, five, like the regular one, which is normal for like everybody else, but for me, it's been ages since I played on this difficulty. I play on like a higher difficulty usually, which is difficulty six, where creatures spawn up to 180, and just in general, they're gonna be slightly better, but obviously everything else is gonna be slightly harder to do. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and get these things breeding. We wanna breed up the sabers, and we have the RG eggs going. I actually need to pick up those eggs. Let's go ahead and do that really quick. Um, what's your timer? Okay, so I didn't make the breeding OP, but I didn't make it really like grindy as well at the same time. Red drop, we need to go for that. Uh, disable wandering. You guys are good. Um, I need a pteranodon. Uh, which one? There, come, come to me, quick. You don't have the saddle, do you? Crap, other one, come to me. <laughs> Give me your saddle. And, unf oh no, this is the one that we need. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And can we ride on you? Are we too heavy? Oh, we're a little bit too heavy. Oh, I gotta get to that red drop. That could be something good. So, yeah, that's the plan for today. RG babies, saber babies, and then I think we might head into the artifact of the clever cave and hit that up really quick. Um, let's just drop the eggs in here for the moment. And saber saddle, just go on to you for now. Uh, what else is weighing me down? Um... I'll just dump a bunch of this crap onto here. Alright, we should be good, we should be good. Let me see. Let's head over and grab that red drop. So guys, make sure they hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. We're like seven episodes in, and I just realized today that we have a lot of artifacts that we need to collect. We need to collect like ten. Oh, that looked like it was much further away. Interesting. We, we have like ten artifacts to collect, so... We, we really gotta get going with some of this. Like, we definitely do. Oh my god, this is a good... What? What's that? Megalosaurus saddle, was it? Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, meh. 
I mean, the Megalosaurus saddle is pretty good, but I don't think I'm going to have a use for that. Damn it. But anyway, yeah, like we have 10 artifacts that we need to collect. So that's almost like 10 videos for some of the caves because some of the caves are like, they're a big project. Like the snow cave, I think what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to have to breed something inside the cave. So that's going to be a big project to do that. Maybe aloes or something. I don't know. Like the Palavias are now in that cave and it just makes it really difficult. Let's see. Uh, we can get both of these sabers breeding, actually. Yeah, that could work. Um, all right, cool. But yeah, like aloes or something for the snow cave. Uh, for the water caves, we're going to need, like, probably a basilo because basilos don't take the jellyfish stings and pretty much everything else does. So probably going to need a basilo for those caves. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff that we need to do. Like, on the surface, it seems like an easy task to just do all of this and defeat the bosses, but... It really isn't. It definitely is not. So let's go ahead. We can we can go ahead and just hatch up our RG babies. Got two eggs. Let's see. One of them's like pretty much almost fully hatched. The other one's like a little bit further out. Okay. Oh man. Uh, stupid RGs flying all over my base. So you guys are gestating. It's gonna be four minutes on you. And this one's about to hatch. Here we go. Baby RG, amazing. Come here. Come to me. I actually don't know the parents of this one because I forgot to name them beforehand. Come here. There you go. Let's give you some food. Thought I heard some wing flapping. <laughs> Thought something was on its way to eat it. Uh, okay, so this one has the health and the stam. That's good. And it has the weight as well. Actually, this is perfect because it's also a female. So we need to raise this one and then breed it with the melee one. Let's go ahead and just check you out as well. You might have even better stats. Uh, you don't have the weight, but you seem to have the other two up here. He probably just has like a higher food stat. Does he? How are you a higher level? Oxygen, 810. Oh yeah, okay, so the oxygen is what's pumping the level up on this one. Um, now we're not gonna need this, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of it. And that's good because our character needs XP. <laughs> oh, Syntec, always finding a, a reason to kill baby dinos. Oh my God, it's invincible. <laughs> By the way, oh, what the hell? Am I not allowed to damage you? Did I forget to like fix the friendly fire thing? I don't think I'm allowed to damage it. Oh crap. <laughs> Yeah, I can't damage him. Interesting. I might have to fix that setting. The reason why I'm able to kill babies, by the way, because I get this question all the time. We were playing, like, usually we're playing on PvE mode. Well, we say we are, but really it's PvP mode, just so we can do the extra things that you can do in PvP, like killing babies and picking up dinos normally. But um, in my PvE series, is we're actually playing on PvP mode. That is why we're able to do that. I get that question all the time. I figured I might answer it. Uh, we're not gonna need you, so I don't know how to deal with you. I might just leave you there and let you starve or something. So, uh, yeah, let's just do this. I don't know. I might have accidentally messed up the friendly fire thing. Like, can I hurt you? No, I don't seem to be able to. Yeah, I gotta fix that. Derp. All right, cool. So we've got our baby RG. It's got the good stats. We just gotta keep feeding it, making sure that it's alive. Baby Saber's gonna pop out any minute now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see which Saber is the best, and obviously we have to try and imprint them fully. We don't have to get a full imprint on the RG. It's not too important, because we still have to breed it with this one here to get the good melee. But uh, I mean, if it, if it comes out with a good imprint, that's, that's just better, I guess, but it's not necessary. So we've got a minute left on this. Uh, what could we do for the minute? Probably nothing. I guess we'll see you guys when we have some baby sabers. Okay, there we go. Just turn you off of wandering so you stop that. Alright. Two, three, four. Um. It's got decent melee. I think that's from our original saber. No, it's not. It would have had to be from you light yeah maybe it was from you this is our original one 
Man, let me let me get this baby saber out here so we can just compare the stats because I never properly wrote down the stats for the saber toots that I've been taming. Come on, come on, out of there! All right, he's is he even moving? God damn it! All right, uh, let's just have a look at you from here. It, this thing might be mutated. No. All right, so wait, what? Hmm. Maybe that was the uh, melee on this one. Maybe I just didn't pump much into this. I guess that's probably it. Uh, in terms of health, it is... It's not too bad. I mean, it's not a great saber, but it's it will do for now. Uh, oops. Let's get rid of that. Let's see. So you're about to pop out the baby any minute now. Uh, we also got to make sure that we feed you. Very important. Wait, did I just drop that into you? Okay. Probably should have also grabbed this mutton away. Give me that back. Eh. Let's go over here and just shove that into the fridge. Make sure we use those ones next time we need to tame something. Alright, what are you at? Almost 10%, so you're gonna start eating from the trough pretty soon. And you want an imprint in two hours. Let's see. You've got interesting colors. I think this this is mutated. Yeah, that green's not natural. Um, jeez, I wish I knew which stat was mutated, though. Stamina is trash. I mean, the green's kind of cool, but I'm not really, I'm not really digging the stats, though. Like, just in general, it's only good stat is the weight compared to this one. It's only slightly above. So, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with this, but it's cool that it's mutated. It's got a thousand stam. I guess that's kind of good, but, like, what's this one at? Nine something, right? 940, I guess. I'd probably prefer to use the other one. But, um, yeah. Not not too bad, not too bad. Let's go ahead and give you some foods. And... Here you are. Awesome. Let's see. Alright, cool. I think I might have also messed up the imprinting. Stat. I don't know why. I feel like I, I just I just did not do that right. <laughs> I feel like it should be a lot lower. I gotta go ahead and check that. Maybe pop a zero in front of whatever it is, but that might actually mean that we can't even fully imprint these things. I think it probably will. Hmm. All right, so it's a little while later, and we actually had to get rid of the RGs and the saber that we had. They were not gonna get a full imprint because I kind of screwed up my settings. And I missed a zero. <laughs> so I fixed that really quick, and uh, now we're heading on over to the cave. We actually managed to get a full imprint on the two of these. We had another one, but I killed that one because it didn't get a full imprint. It stopped at like 40% or something. And that was a saber, by the way. So let's go ahead and we're going to leave you here. And we're going to hop onto you and see about taking on this cave. Now... There's some pretty dangerous stuff in here, and this thing's pretty unleveled, so we might have to back out and then come back in. We'll see. Let me let me just take a peek around, though, first. If we can, we need to shoot Arthros. Oh, there we go. Already getting attacked. We need to shoot the Arthros if we see any, because we can do more damage with the bullets, and uh, they could destroy my, my armor, which is bad. So let's go ahead and just pump melee. So all the stats just updated there, by the way. They didn't just go by all that much for just pumping melee. <laughs> all right, let's see. So, I don't, let me, uh, that's two gamut. Never mind. We'll just stay at this, at this uh, amount. Hello. You could be a good tame, actually. All right, let's just do this. Help myself out of here a little bit. Reload. And reload. We're getting... There's a spider on its way. Hello. <laughs> Alright. So, Megalosaurus are also a danger in this cave. We want to watch out for them. Luckily, this cave isn't too long. It, like, it takes a little while to get down. Oh, is that a Titan Bow egg? Hell yeah, I want that. That's going to be super handy. Alright. Nice. Nice. Go ahead and harvest up all this stuff here. I think we're safe, so I'll grab this. Nice. Um, so yeah, Megalosaurus are a danger. Uh, Arthropleura. 
danger. Uh, there's an explore note right here, so this could be good. Just gotta go down slow just in case, because some creatures could be like hidden inside the walls. Alright, let's grab this. Bam! Megalodon. Let's go ahead and just do that. Do extra damage. It's super awesome. I, I'm glad that they have that. Because Arthros are an absolute pain to deal with. Did we get? I think we got one of them there. Oop. Uh, uh. Got him. Still another one down there, though. Okay. There's another one coming. Got him. Alright, sweet. Let's go ahead and harvest this up. We've got an artifact, uh, or what they call it, a drop there. Just go ahead and grab this other explore note. Do some leveling after this as well. Oh crap, can I? Let me see if I can. There we go. Okay. So many Onic. Alright. Whoa, okay, they're just. They're <laughs> Holy crap. There's a lot of Onic. Get off of me. Luckily, they're not. They're not doing huge amounts of damage. We're still doing a lot more than they are. I'm still doing decent on health as well, which is good. All right. Let's see. We've got ten levels so far. Straight into melee. And let's get this up to like thirteen hundred. And there. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, not the worst. I, I like the fur boots. That's good. Is there another explore node up here? I'm not sure if there is. Okay, there is not. Okay, let's head on down. Seriously gotta watch out for Megalosaurus. That would just ruin my day. Uh, there is an Onic up there. <laughs> that didn't even work. Alright. Let's see. Man. At least I can actually hit them though, that's the good part. Oh dude, where did you come from? There's another one? <laughs> Get out of here. Alright. Let's go ahead and reload this. You coming? <laughs> what is he doing? He's just flapping there. Alright. I think we're safe. Okay. No, nope. come on. All right, a little bit further. No, oh, so crap. There's uh, there's sarcos in here as well, isn't there? Yeah, I should be okay though. I don't think that they'll be too much of an issue. Megalosaurus, where are you? I, I don't think there is any in here right now. Seem to be kind of safe, sort of. <laughs> Holy crap, these these little blue drops are actually giving me some decent loot. Like, I mean, I'm not going to have a use for that, but it's still good. Okay, I thought that was a Megalosaurus. <laughs> okay, oh, that's a lot of Onic. There's always a bunch of Prana in there, so we got to make sure that we don't get hit into there. Okay, let's see. And... Here we go. There's two 150s attacking me right now. Come on. Okay. One more. And dead. Sweet. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've taken a beating. Uh, let's go ahead and get this up to like a thousand before we do anything. And. Okay. There we go. We should be fine though, like, because the artifact's just up ahead here. Oh, where are you? Why are you a thing? Stupid wall spider. <laughs> There's even more over there, isn't there? Let's reload this. Alright, get sabered. Sounds like there's another one over there. 
okay. Oh, my, why, what is that? Why are they in the wall? <laughs> like, this has been an issue for so long. Fix this. What, they freaking getting mashed by spiders. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. It could be Arthros in the wall. Now I say that, I guarantee it's gonna happen. Yeah, I have no clue where I just got hit from, so we're just gonna continue here. And a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Okay, there is the artifact of the clever. There's also an explore note over there. I think it's the explore note for the spider, actually. Oh, I thought that was a Megalosaurus after we passed it. Okay. Ah, kill, kill, kill. Oh, he got me. Oh, that was, okay, it was another one that got me. Die. Yeah, spider one. I don't know why I knew that, I just did. Oh, go away. <laughs> okay. Get. Oh, I'm super hurt. Yeah, that is, uh, that's bad. <laughs> okay. Let's get our health back up a little bit. New saber, so I guess this makes sense. Oh, stupid scorpion, get off me. Okay, I'll just get rid of you guys. Or ne maybe not then, I guess. There's a snake in the wall there somewhere, I don't know. Let's get this up here a little bit. Okay. Oh, there's the scorpion. Let's move you away from your mate. He's dead. Let's go ahead and just reload this. Okay. So let's just grab the artifact. I think we're pretty safe here. Besides the scorpion, obviously. Okay. First artifact of the series. The artifact of the clever. It's already back. <laughs> Interesting. Right, so, uh, you know what? I almost kind of want to go that way, just for the levels. Let's see, let me just, let's just see if we can, if we can kill some of this stuff at least. Just to get some levels on our dude, because he's definitely lacking. I mean, we can always just leg it out of here if we're super hurt. God, what's with all the 150 bats in here? Stupid Onik, die. There we go. Oh, okay. Okay, we're super low. <laughs> that hurts. That really does hurt. So, let's get this up to like 400 and then we should just bail out of this cave. We've gotten all the loot. We've got all the explore notes as well. And I have a level two. Sweet. All right, let's go back the way that we came. Hopefully nothing spawned in here. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, usually it doesn't happen in this cave. This cave's tiny, so. I'd be very surprised if everything spawned back. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're safe. Sweet, so that is the first artifact. Artifact of the Clever. We need all the other ones though, there's like Nine more to go, <laughs> and the this is the easiest one, obviously. Um, we just need to get some really good cave uh, fighting creatures. Like, um, I mean, even just an actual saber would be really good for it. But things like Thylas are great, um, Baryonyxes are great. Yeah, just a bunch of those types of creatures. All right, let's pick you back up before you die. Oh man. I gotta put you back at base. I don't really want to fight with it too much more. Oh, freaking yellow drop. Oh, everything's happening. <laughs> we gotta go up and get that. How far away is that? Okay, that's not too far. We could probably rush over there on the Pteranodon. Yeah, that could work. Oh, that's an Alpha Raptor. Holy crap. You weren't there before, and I have Explore Note boost. Oh, I need to get that. Oh, okay, everything is happening. Everything is happening. <laughs> All right, so we need to kill that Alpha Raptor. That just needs to be a thing. Let's grab our Pteranodon and head up and grab that drop. If we can get to it. Okay, 
so how far away is that? Eh, doesn't look too far. I think we might be okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, it just broke. <laughs> oh, crap. All right, whatever. So, um, Alpha Raptor then, I guess? Yeah, let's go. What level are you? Level 50. Not bad, not bad. All right, so we're going to head out here with our new RG and see what damage we can do. Should be able to just, like, fly above him and put him this way. Yeah, this should work for the moment. It's gonna be able to hit me occasionally. And we gotta get the kill with our character, though. That's one thing. Okay. You heard it all? What the hell? He's got like some cyan on his back. You see that? So weird looking. There's also a yellow drop over there that I want to hit up. Okay, yeah, this uh, this raptor is gonna go down pretty soon. What's with that cyan on his back? It's super weird. All right. I want to fly away and snipe at him now. Okay, yeah, perfect. Let's see. Oh, I'm hungry. What? It should have been a headshot. Alright, whatever. Okay, I'll just aim for main body then. Maybe he's kind of like bugged out or something. Come on. He might be healing a little bit from the uh, corpse or whatever. There we go. Sweet. Okay. Let's go over and see what we get. Hopefully we get... Oh, no. Leave it alone. <laughs> Give me... Oh, hey, we got some picks. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and just eat him up with this. All right, now let's hit up this yellow drop. So I definitely got a level from that. That is sweet, all right. Um, yellow drop, okay, please have something really good, like a long neck, thinking long neck rifle, apprentice, maybe even a journeyman. Huh, okay, no, terrible stuff. All right, we got a capro and a spider saddle. Poop, all right, let's see. So what did we actually get from the raptor? We got two picks, this one's got more damage. And what else? He was just a bunch of crap as well. But we did also get the Raptor Claw, and I think, I don't know exactly how many of those that we actually need, but I, I do think that we need a few of them for the the tech cave. Let me see, let's go for some stam. I don't know how this thing didn't level more, actually. That's really confusing. How'd you not level at all, really? You were hitting the Alpha Raptor, and then it got killed, like, directly after. Oh, we only got one level. Oh, okay. Let's see. What were we actually pumping? Um, hmm. I don't know. Let's pump some more health. Let's get that up to, like, 400 next. All right, cool. So, we, we have our Saber. He is super amazing. He's going to be even more amazing when he can heal. And I'll probably hit up that cave a couple times. We only need one of the artifacts, I do believe, but we'll probably do it several times just to see if we can get some other cool stuff because those little uh, cave drops are actually not too bad. They're actually pretty good. So, yeah. Um, did I just hear something walking? I didn't leave you guys breeding, so I think we're good. <sighs> okay, well, that's going to be it for today, guys. We, um, we got our saber. We got our RG. And we have the first of the nine, or first of the ten artifacts. That's not where it goes. It goes in here, right? 
There we go. Sweet. We got three of them so far. So we got a little bit of progress done today, but um, yeah, that's it for today. Anyway, if you guys have enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, why am I green? <laughs> if you want to see more like this, go ahead and subscribe. I don't know why I have like green underarms and green junk. It's weird. <laughs> but uh, yeah, see you in the next one.